What's up guys? Got some uh, cool stuff to show you. Um, hope I don't get flagged because I'm going to show you a gun today. And uh, YouTube's been uh, pretty strict with, strict with firearms. But I'm seeing other videos where they're showing it. And they don't seem to be uh, taking them down. So um, before I get to it, the thesis, I think I said it right. Um, this is the first, this is my first ever, my first lower cost 1911. I don't want to say lower end because it's not lower end. Uh, before I looked into this, I uh, did some videos of documentaries in Turkey where they make these firearms. And I've seen the whole process and it is absolutely impressive. Uh, no different than the Beretta plant, no different than the Springfield plant documentaries I've seen on there. They use the same stuff, water jet. I mean, these things are done El Primo, okay? But before we see, see this, I want to show you, oh, hold on, I forgot to bring it over. Uh, I made this leather outside the waistband pouch for 1911. For a customer and he also wanted a uh, hellcat uh, leather uh, pouch so i just want to show you how nice the mag pouches come out don't show them too often now this is a single one and this is the leather texture so normally these are 30 bucks but when you get the leather texture as you can see it's very expensive material okay now i'm getting notifications on my phone i don't know if you can see them or not i hope you can't so um this came out really nice and normally like i said outside the waistband single mag pouches are 30 dollars and doubles are 50. now when it's with the leather it increases by 15 bucks because it costs me a lot more money to buy the leather texture okay there's nothing i could do about that some people don't care they say i don't care 15 bucks i want the leather it looks really nice especially with an old school 1911 because they're classy, it looks good. Okay. Goes in real nice. It does. It goes in real nice. A little click. And let me tell you about the click with mag pouches. This one has to, this one's going to click because I made it with this magazine. Uh, believe it or not, there are 1911 magazines that are not quite the same. Sometimes the hole, which I'll show you, the mag catch. See this hole? That's where the mag catch is. Some of them are bigger. Some of them are in a different spot, believe it or not. Uh, if you had like an older 1911 or something, I've seen that. So if I make it with uh, my mag, with my mag, it's gonna click real nice, okay? Some mags might just slide in and it holds it nice and tight, which is no big deal. But with this particular mag, it's a Kim Pro Tac mag. If you have a Kim Pro Tac mag, that's what this mold is made with. So it'll, it'll do that. Um, I mean, it'll always snap in, but not that, not as good as it does unless you have the same magazine. As far as the outside diameter, everything is identical to the 1911 mags, but just wanted to show you that. And the guy watching, if he's watching, you know who you are that ordered this. He ordered an inside and he ordered an outside. He ordered an outside com, uh, com, uh, commander size 1911 leather. He ordered an outside mag pouch to go with his 1911 leather. Left side, right? Bullets forward. And he ordered a inside the waistband Hellcat. Ordered three things, all leather. So I just wanted to show you that. There's the Hellcat holster, leather. Okay, and I want to. I know I've shown you this before, but I want you guys to know that I am making the Hellcat outside the waistbands now. I got a mold for it. Okay, fits good. It's not my favorite mold company, but at least there's a mold for it now. Okay. And it seems to fit it real nice. Now I can test it with a regular Hellcat. I mean, just because it doesn't have 
um, the compensator on it, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, don't mean dick, because I, I know this is plenty big enough for that uh, piece. So I test it with the normal Hellcats, what you want to test it with, and it, it locks in really, really nice. Okay, so if you want a Hell, if you want a Hellcat RDP, I'm talking about RDP outside. I make them now, in and out. Okay, now before I'm going to start the video, we're going to do another run of a discount, a discount code till January 1st. January 1st, you're going to get 10% off all holsters, uh, with the exception of uh, knife sheaves because. I got them really cheap and I can't move any lower on them. <clears throat> but uh, any holsters, any mag pouches, in, out holsters, whatever, uh, even if you get leather, it doesn't matter. 10% uh, comes off the total. And the coupon code is Mother Humpers because we've been saying that on this channel for 10 years, right? So it's Mother Humpers, all lowercase, plural. Mother humpers, all one word. I'll put it in the description. So now, um, let's show this. Thesis. Um, you can get one of these out the door, tax and everything for like 440. Some people get them for 380. It's like, a, you know, but depends where you get it, depends on your location, depends on what the FFL paid for it so the price is going to go up and down maybe sixty dollars depends where you get it so it comes in uh, just a paper box it has you know just foam nothing nothing crazy um the thing but I, I like about it is um it has it's an it's a fantastic replica of the world war ii 1911 Okay, this is a great replica of the GI 1911. The only thing I can see they did change is the hammer. They made it fat and with uh, serrations on it, which a lot of people don't like. I like it because that's the World War I 1911 hammer because I have one. It looked just like that. The finish, let me get this out of the way. You only get one mag with it, okay? Uh, the grips on it are plastic. Not crazy about that. Um, so what I did was, you want to try to keep something like this original, but what I did was I got some grips for it that still keep it in that era, but they're nice looking, okay? Um, I'm going to put them on and show you. Uh, when? I don't know. So uh, I will show you them in the package, okay? You see they're a deeper, darker, richer color. They're them Coco Bolo. They're just nicer grips. They're wood, and they have U.S. on them. So I figure uh, that goes with the gun pretty good, and it doesn't doesn't modify it to look modern whatsoever. So that, that was my goal. Okay. You get one mag. This is a 9mm, and I only have one 9mm magazine because you only get one. Uh, I had other 9mm 1911s, but they were small ones. They were like compact ones, officer size ones. And I was hoping I had one for a government model, but I'm like, there's no way because I never had a government model in 9mm. The action feels great. We'll do a, uh, we're going to do a disassemble video on the Patreon channel because I like to get in more detail. In videos over there plus taking a gun apart and putting it back together on YouTube uh, I don't know if they're gonna freak about that but I'm telling you when it comes to fit and finish and I don't, I don't want to sound like everybody else but I'm telling you when it comes to fit and finish and it's not usually these the uh, like even the Springfield GI model that's like a $500 1911 it's kind of loose it jiggles a little bit this this is very tightly made uh, I love the Cerakote it just gives you that, it gives you that World War II look. It just, that's the way it's supposed to be, I think. It ain't supposed to be pretty. It's supposed to look like a military gun. And that's what it does with the Saratoga. 
Now I haven't oiled it yet or anything and it feels very slick. It doesn't wiggle. The slide to frame fit is great and tight. That's one of my one of my stickler things about 1911s. I hate I hate when the slide rocks back and forth because when you're shooting it, you can feel it clacking. It feels like the damn slide's going to fly off, which it will not. But who I don't like that feeling. So you can see the uh, the frame slide to fit the slide to the frame is just as good as any other 1911 I ever seen. Now I'm talking about high production 1911s. Okay. Springfield's no different than that. Kimber's no different than that. Colt's no different than that. The only 1911s that are a little bit better is the Ed Brown, Wilson Combat, Nighthawk Customs, shit like that. But as far as, uh, you know, so-called thousand dollar 1911s, uh, they're, they're no different. Dan Wesson might be a little better. Okay, but I'm gonna show you the barrel. You can see that it's nine millimeter. I can't wait to shoot it. It's gonna feel like shooting fucking air, like cotton balls, because I'm so used to a 45 1911 that, you know, they, they kick pretty hard, and especially when you have, like you guys all know, rheumatoid arthritis. I probably said that wrong, but I have it, and I got it real bad. So, when the gun recoils, it, after 100 rounds, my wrist will swell up. So I got a 1911 and nine millimeter. So I figure, hey, if I'm only gonna have one 1911, because I don't have one right now, uh, I want it to look like the original 1911, okay? So I can't give you a range report right now. I really know where to shoot, um, but as soon as I shoot it, I will. So, Usually, low-end 1911s have weak springs, and I can tell you by pulling this hammer back, that is not a weak spring, not at all. It's, it takes a, a little bit of strength to pull that hammer back. So that means there's a, a very strong main housing spring in there. Damn, I can't remember, I remember that. And another thing cheap 1911s do, ones that ain't built good I'm talking about, they have a thumb safety that just flops back and forth. There's not much detent, but this one has great detent. And it's not overly stiff. It's perfect. As far as the trigger goes, I haven't done anything with this. I haven't taken it apart or oiled anything. As far as the trigger goes, there's a little take up and the take up is not sloppy. It's not scratchy. Now when it fire, good not fantastic but it's real good it's real good okay uh other 1911s i've had high production 1911s i'm talking about the triggers are absolutely no better than this one when you get it so if you're looking for a 1911 and you don't want to spend a thousand dollars and you want one that's built good and as far as i could see is youtube videos they're reliable you know um I seen someone put uh, 600 rounds through one and he said he didn't have one failure and used all different magazines. Wilson Combat, Chip McCormick, McCormick, the original magazine that came with it and uh, no failures. That's fantastic news, okay? So this is called the Tesis. If I'm saying it right, they're made in Turkey. I like that they say model 1911 US Army on it. That's really cool. See it? Model 19, Model 19, Model 1911A1, U.S. Army. And there's not a lot of writing on it. I hate guns with writing all over it. Uh, it's so, so clean looking. So the correct uh, model number for this is called the Zig M1 Tesis, made in Turkey. I guess Tesis is a town, I don't know. But already SDS. I've seen it called that too. Uh, another thing about this 1911 is it's a Series 70. And the, the frame and slide, this is huge. The frame and slide are hammer forged. Now, usually a 1911 in this price range, the slide's hammer forged and the frame is cast. And you can tell just by the paint job on cast because it has that orange peel look to it. 
Uh, you can tell this ain't cast. See how nice and smooth it is? That's hammer forged steel. If you look at it real close, look at that. There's no orange peel on the paint at all because cast has porosity. You can't really see it with the naked eye, but if you look real close, you'll see it. And porosity causes a texture in the metal. And then you'll see it through the paint. This is hammer forged. This is hammer forged. Huge. That's huge. Okay. So also a Chip McCormick, not a Chip McCormick, a Mechar magazine, which are probably the best magazines on the market. Uh, it says Mechar right there. Made in Italy. It's a real Mechar mag. That's all I got to say about it. Nine millimeter. Probably holds, I don't know, nine plus one. That's what I'm thinking. Haven't had one in a while. I'm looking forward to putting these US grips on there. It's going to look real good. But uh, that's it, guys. And uh, where the hell's my remote? Okay, just remember about the uh, coupon code Mother Humpers, all lowercase, 10% all off all holsters till January 1st. All right, guys, hope you liked the video. Talk to you soon.